friends. We are back at 401 Games in the heart of Toronto, bringing you some exciting prototype Toronto League top cut action. Coming to you from 401 Live, I am Timbo Slice. Stephen Moss. Or Moss Isley, as he's or known. Moss Isley. Call yourself that, somebody else again, and All you are time. cut, I swear. Ouch. Hurts. <laughs> That's painful to him. <laughs> Wonderful folks at VWTV Live uh, helping us broadcast this top four action between one of the original founders of the Prototype Toronto League all those years ago, Dave Grohl himself, a.k.a. Aaron Papenhausen. Sure uh, is. Aaron be on the right. It's great to see him make it this far in the finals, to be honest. Well, one of the things we always try to pull Aaron's uh, chain on is that it's the list he flies. But here's going to be a perfect example of turn zero that matters more than anything else. Let's, we'll talk about our players a little bit later. This, this matchup is so crucial for turn zero, which is when rocks go down. Moss, why don't you have, give us a little bit of insight as to why turn zero is so important for this matchup? Sure. Biggest one you see immediately, Tim, is Raph's playing dash. Yes. Right. So he so, gives zero Fs about rocks. Right. Um, not to mention, he's also playing Miranda. So you really do care about those lanes that you can cut off with bombing. Slam's extremely maneuverable. And on the flip side, Aaron's playing a formation flying list, right? So, I mean, he's not going to dump into these rocks unless he really wants to or has to. Completely agree with you, Mossy. And, and you know, for at the Prototype Toronto League or the PTL, as we call it, we always love uh, encouraging new players to learn more and more about the game. One of the things that's vastly underestimated is the importance of turn zero. Turn sure. zero consists of the initiative role. Yep. As you can see, Raph has initiative in this, which actually does matter. Um, Absolutely. I mean, Rourke has the ability to uh, PS somebody up to 12 at the right. beginning of the combat phase. But, you know, um, Dash has Ray Crew, which is a relative start of combat uh, initiative, and so does uh, Aaron. So it's going to be extra beneficial for Aaron to see if Raph is utilizing his Ray card right. to be able to say, okay, you know what, I'm going to need to balance the uh, the engagement there by using my Ray card as well. It'll actually be interesting to see how slow Aaron lets this play. I mean, this is a list that typically won't come out overly strong and fast, but with Dash with the Ray crew, do you really want him to keep banking those focus to the point where he's just going to have an unlimited supply of focus tokens? Yeah, I mean, pardon my French, but Dash is a bit of an SOB. Uh, yeah, sure. I, I don't like his face. And no, not at he, all. Uh, he's, he's one of those pieces in X-Wing that if you give him five, six turns before you engage him to bank up all those Ray tokens, those may not seem like crucial turns now, but in the late game when he's got focus tokens coming out the yin-yang and your K-turning all over the place and short on actions, yeah. you're going to feel that lone wolf focus action. Yeah, big time. Uh, this list also gives... Um, Raph can really play it slow, right? I mean, like, Miranda's got the, reg uh, the regen with the TLT. Dash is super cagey. It's going to be an uphill fight for Aaron. Um, it'll really just depend on how aggressive Raph decides to come in. If he goes in hard against this list, Aaron can pull him off the board if he gets a lot of arcs. You're definitely right there, Mossy. Uh, and, you know, you look at the rest of turn zero as it completed here, so... Um, Aaron did his best to keep the rocks spread out, which means that a large ship based ship like uh, Dash, if he barrel rolls from to get off of one rock, then he might actually engage another rock. So the, 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 the catch with Dash pilot compared to Dash crew is actually quite interesting. Yeah. Dash the pilot says, if I finish my activation phase on a rock, I, I don't have to roll for it. I'm not engaging the obstacle token. Exactly. But I can't shoot because I'm on a rock. Yep. Whereas Dash Crew is the exact opposite and says, I still roll to interact with the obstacle, but if I finish on top of an asteroid, I can still laugh maniacally at you and shoot at you. It'll also be kind of interesting with Dash with this clump of rocks, how often Wrath decides to turn on and turn off Dash's ability to check for barrel rolls. It's a great thing uh, to, to mention there, Moss, because a lot of people, especially folks who... Uh, play dash a lot don't really realize that rule interaction when they're at a tournament so let's talk about dash rendar and uh and raf's list super quickly okay um definitely not the first time we've seen it no super um, standard dash layout super standard dash miranda layout i believe it won the 
European Championships with uh, uh, what's uh, what's Buddy's name? He's got the seven foot long hair. Uh, oh, uh, George Talapena. There you go. Yeah, Georgie. Um, except he used Lebo, winning. <laughs> hey, he won with a handicap. That's it, man. So Dash's standard loadout with uh, Heavy Laser Cannon, Ray Crew, Outrider, and Lone Wolf. He's got no room for a smuggling compartment no nope. countermeasures because it looks like Miranda is taking a Connor net. Yeah, this is actually a pretty interesting loadout on Miranda. It's not that... Um, Unoriginal, like I mean, it's it's got the standard bomblet generator on it. Sabine looks like you went with a Connor instead of something like clusters or along those lines. I like action bombs. Use them while you can. The advanced slam nerf is coming, so yeah. you might as well enjoy it while you can use it. Um, now, I mean, moving over to our other player, who's obviously you've seen him set up for uh, turn zero into turn one that we're in right now. Done this really cheeky bank towards the board edge so that when he turns the following turn he's got this right. lovely lane to just try and move up board and try and cut off yep. these dodgy pieces here. Uh, Aaron if there's anybody who can actually have a chance to go up against two reposition turrets with four ships that have arcs on them I mean excluding Rourke who has a TLT of course Yeah. Uh, Aaron definitely is not to be underestimated in this matchup no not at all um, the one thing I guess to keep in mind on a list like this where we very well could see final time Aaron holds him on dice on final salvo no problem like Raph can't just sit there and run the entire game uh, it will come down to Aaron throwing Three, five, eight, nine dice versus not a lot out of Dash Miranda. I think it's so ten, it's, isn't it? Lorik's uh, so three, Jess is three, Rourke's one. one. Sorry, it is yeah. nine. Yeah. Um, so, you know, depending on how he plays it, he's going to have to engage at a certain point. Um, and it's kind of a tough list to burn down. Miranda, though, with bombs, uh, it'll be kind of interesting to see how much Aaron stays on the sides of the board so Miranda can't easily slam through uh, for fear of going off the board. And, you know, a lot of people look at this and they say to themselves, oh, it's like a less good uh, fair ship rebel because there's no bigs involved. So Different. One of the things that I'm just going to put out straight out the bat is Aaron, or as we like to call him, the father of fair ship here, um, he has been playing janky four ship rebel lists exactly. that, it, that involve a T70 or T65 yeah. and usually a hawk that's either Kyle or Rourke. This is an Aaron's wheelhouse. This is definitely time, yeah, this is definitely list. the kind of matchup that Aaron I mean I'm not gonna say he feels super comfortable with because Dash is a great matchup for a uh, formation yeah. flying list. But the biggest difference in this matchup is that you're not bound by the range one bigs bubble. You can no. split your ships. It's not great to split your ships up. Yeah, lower you've still got to worry about it a little bit. Yeah, um, but I mean, you've, you've got that option there to um, to fly them a little bit further than range one away from each other. Rourke's ability works at range one to three. So let's just go through uh, Aaron's list really quickly. He's obviously got some painted ships. So let's uh, start with the, the painted Hawk 290. It's Rourke. Garnett. Yep. It's actually Aaron's name for this list is uh, oh, is it, uh, what is oh, it? Rock, and, rock and Roll Rourke or something like that. But uh, Rourke's ability says at range 1 to 3, at the beginning of the combat phase, you must choose another friendly ship at range 1 to 3 to make PS 12. Which he's doing with Rex. I mean, let's be honest, he wants to get that suppressive fire token down before anybody else shoots to hurt their offense. Well, I mean, Dash's cannon going from 4 to 3 they is can't huge. can't do a crit. Big deal. It makes Rex a huge target yep. for Dash, especially considering that Rex can't hide behind um, Bigs in this matchup. But for if, if Aaron can keep Rex, who of course after he fires, it signs that it suppresses fire condition token. If even keep Rex near Lorik, then Lorik can spend that reinforced token with his pilot ability yep. and mitigate the amount of damage from Dash. So Dash would have to roll perfect three to be able to even have the possibility of two results going through onto Rex. If Rex took an evade token, that means that he would have to blank on all three dice right. to take a damage. So The other key thing I'd say in Aaron's list in this matchup is if you'll notice on Lorik, he does have Tactician. 
I and love Jack he Tish, also not a has check. red. So this playing slow, he's also sitting there just banking focus the entire time, which makes Lorik, unlike in a lot of standard FSR builds, actually a pretty solid uh, offensive contribution. Mate, I love me a Wookiee gunship with Tactician on it. Oh, it's so good. The 180, 180 arc. 180 yeah. arc with that Tactician is just magic. You think to yourself, you're safe here, you're safe there. Remember that one list that got bounced around on Vassal for a while? It was just three Wookiee Liberators with expertise and tacticians. I have played against that list before. That is before. not fun. Um, that was a very, very interesting list to play against. Um, people are looking for a fairly straightforward list to pick up that's pretty good straight out of the box. That is not a bad cho choice. You reinforce all of the time and just shoot. You got it. So it looks like Aaron is setting himself up uh, a great um, lane to try and cut Dash off. He's got Jess set up to either go straight up board through the uh, the gap on the right-hand side between the center rock and the right rock. Yep. Or he can bank the whole formation left. And much will depend on what Dash does here. So I'm really curious to see how much Raph's going to keep repositioning. Um, I mean, the thing is, without engine, it's a little harder for Dash to get behind that list the way that he just set it up. Yeah. Um, so if he wants to get behind it, it's going to take some work. What we're going to do, actually, is uh, the next chance we get, we're going to ask the people at the table to get both Ray cards and put them in the bottom corners of the list of the table so that we can keep track of uh, who's got what focus banked on the, the two Ray cards. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I mean, Vic like... Victor's going to do that. Thank you, Victor. From what I can see right now, we've got... Oh, weird call for... Aaron took that reinforce action versus a focus. Kind of a wasted opportunity. Yeah, I mean, it goes back to your point. I really don't think that you need to overexert yourself with too many focuses on Lorik. Um, where uh, Dash was, he could have actually three-turn barrel rolled into range of Lorik there. Mm. Um, True. It's not the end of the world, but at the same time, uh, you know, uh, if Lorik can one bank here, I think, and probably clear that rock, it's an odd position for the Wookiee, but... It we'll is, see. yeah. I think he's just going to one bank it. I mean, I, I would imagine that's the idea. Probably two bank with the uh, TIE Fighter. Funny thing about Lorik's position here, if he one banks and gets himself just in front of that rock, he can literally one forward for the next three, four turns yes. and have most of the board covered. Yes. Which is a fantastic position. One of the things that we're going to see in this matchup, I really think, Moss, is textbook formation flying on a four-ship list. Uh, from Aaron here. Aaron's, I, can, I know he taught me a lot of what I know today about um, not just maneuvering but positioning. Yeah. Kind of corner I mean, he's your been opponent. Flying these four ship lists for well before I was playing X Y. And he's been chasing Dash around the board with Imperial Aces for years. So if anybody knows how to trap Rendar in the corner, it's uh, it's Aaron here. So. I'm really interested to see if this tactician actually plays a role. I mean, both of Raph's ships absolutely hate stress. If it's he can very stress, true. Uh, stress Miranda, that is not going to go well. Um, no, and, and, and you know what? If, if Raph can time it so that he gets both of his turrets into range properly and he can take out Rex in, the, in one turn... Pick the list part. He's really got much more of a chance uh, than, than otherwise. I mean, if, if, the, if the end game got down to Lorik and Jess versus one of... Uh, rafts two ships could be interesting that's a tough end game yeah right you really want to have that tlt to counterbalance miranda's recharge yep. or to keep the pressure up on dash because dash likes tlts about as much as sandpaper toilet paper so exactly um, and i'll just plank through them yeah yeah it'll be I, we'll see this is going to be an interesting game uh potentially really slow i mean if they obviously do just kind of not engage well, um, I think it's important to note. I mean, the, it's not exactly the wrong idea, though, for some of it. Positioning ahead, is a big part of the game. Like, you're not going to joust this list against. So like, many people get packed down against a Dash Miranda, and they say to themselves, no problem. I've got a punchy list. Yeah. I'll fly all my ships straight at one of them, kill one of them, and then I'm fine. Yeah, not easy. That's exactly what the Dash Miranda player wants. Yeah. They want you to fly straight at one of the two of them so that they can take their lumps, 
bail and shoot at you two or three times while they're running away. Which is really the terrifying thing of this, right? I mean, if Wrath can get a split here, which might not be a bad idea, like if he turns towards Aaron with Miranda and slams through so he's behind, and then has Dash out front, that's not a bad maneuver. Like, I mean, he'd then be sitting really kind of in the rocks, which is where he wants to be with obstructed shots, chucking an HLC. Miranda behind. You ever, you ever see that movie, uh, The Second Jurassic Park, The Lost World? I have, yeah. Yeah, so Dash in the rocks is just like the raptors, man. Don't go into exactly. the long grass. <laughs> yeah, not, not a good go idea. Don't go into the long do grass. Not do it. It's a trap. <laughs> uh, now, the positive thing, though, is Aaron doesn't have bigs, right? I mean, well, I guess it's not positive. It's positive for Raph. going through the rocks and breaking his formation up, he doesn't quite to have to hold as tight as a typical list like this war. It's, it's a double-edged sword. You don't have the protection of bigs, but it also means that you can space your pieces out slightly better in order to trap Miranda or Dash. You want to herd them towards Lorik so that you can stress one of them. If you stress one of them, you're laughing. So Aaron just reckons that his three bank here clears. It does, definitely does clear. Wonderful maneuver. Turns out he's kind of good at flying. Turns out he's not a douche. Yeah. May have done this before. I'm just as surprised as you are, Mossy. What about you, Victor? Are you surprised? He's surprised. Yeah, shocked. Mouths <laughs> open and everything. Let's take this minute while the uh, the activation. Well, let's find out if we get any shots. But first, we'll, tell, we'll talk about our players after we get a chance to see if there's any shots here. If Dash just did a one forward, which I imagine that he probably did, uh, Raph might barrel roll out. I'm really interested to see what Raph did with Miranda yep. because this was his opportunity to get behind. two turn, two turn, yep. slam and start getting behind the list. Um, I don't know, we're gonna find out here soon. We got a three turn from Lorik, interesting. Hmm. That 180 arc though covers so much space. I love what he's done here, he's actually like. We can see Aaron's probably playing the idea of he's going to the right of that rock as he's going to continue his way forward. So he's kind of picked a direction. Um, but at the same time, with Rex being out front, it's kind of a decent way to gum up your own formation if you want to start self-bumping yourself. Well, Jess goes first. Yep. Then Rex and Rourke, then Laura. Right. And uh, there's enough so points in this forward. list so that um, Aaron has gone with the EPT droid R2-D6 on Jess. And instead of going with VI or uh, adaptability to match Jess's pilot skill to the rest of the list, he's opted to go with uh, crack shot. a PTL favorite, crack shot. It um, sure is. I'm um, actually kind of surprised he didn't do something like selflessness on Jess. Selflessness, uh, not a bad Just to give I, you an extra little bit of way to spread damage apart. Yeah, but without bigs around. It's true. Yeah. I mean, Jess is not a bad tart law. Well, like, Jess is kind of a trap to shoot in, right? She's going to get a ton of rerolls. So we've got Miranda definitely in range here. It looks like she'll definitely be in range of lower. It looks like Raph's going to attempt the target lock on Rourke and see what he can get. Or well, maybe he was just pointing at one of them. Yeah. Mm. Yep, I mean, it looks like that Miranda's 100% in range of lower. Actually, not sure about the rest of the formation. It's always a little tough to judge range from a monitor. Raph just giving some consideration to his move here. Important to, to choose his target priority well. One of the, at this point, I think, Moss, it's uh, it's important to talk about pr uh, target priority. I mean, if you're Raph, Rex is the obvious choice. Yeah, you want to kill her. One. But then Since who, that's going to 12, might as well. But then who? Uh, I mean, I think you've told me well enough. Kill the Wookiee's never a bad idea. If you can get, especially if you can get a ship behind to where that reinforce is only affecting one ship shots, uh, you can burn those Wookiee's down pretty quickly. I mean, Raph's put himself in a great position for a three bank, three bank, or a three bank, three straight bomb yep. next turn. I mean, I personally would leave um, probably like Jess to the end. You know, as Jess, as your formation just keeps getting more and more thinned out, Jess becomes a little less useful. Uh, you're not getting the number of rerolls that you typically would. Um, and either of these ships should be okay taking a T-70 at the end of the game. Uh, the same exact thing with Rourke, though, too. You could leave them. I agree. So we've had Miranda take the target lock on Rex. Clear about target priority for Raph now. Yep. Which is great. Uh, start a combat, Raph has initiative. 
So Raph looks like he's going to ray on to dash. Aaron follows suit with his. And it looks like Aaron is going to rourke up Rex. Yep. Rex probably going to take a range three obstructed shot here on Rendar. Yep. Got to love that ship, that yeah, one so that, uh, that dash. I mean, like, I don't like dash the pilot. He's a pain in the zip me up. But the ship itself, the Y2400, beautiful looking ship. It is. It's great looking. Uh, so it looks, looks like, like we've got one hit. One crit. Dash likely going to evade. Ooh, interesting to see. We're going to find out right now if Dash has pooched himself with Lone Wolf. Oh. Ooh. Looks like somebody's spending a focus token. Raph may have forgot Lone Wolf. I think he did. And there goes suppressive fire. I, I would I would have surmised that Miranda's probably within range too. Yep. So. Now the thing that I've got to say about suppressive fire that's a little different is that's only works if you're not shooting Rex. So Dash, for instance, is suppressive fire. And if he doesn't pick Rex, then he's taking the the minus. He's still taking four v four against Rex. You yeah. Got it. Yeah. So it looks like Rex is going to spend that evade, and uh, oh no, that's Miranda shooting Rex with the TLT. That's right. Miranda's TLT. God, that thing's annoying. For one, spending, spending the, target the target lock. lock. Ooh. Ooh, three. Rex taking a second damage. So he's got the evade token, and he does have Lorix. Oh, he's considering the evade and Lorix here. Interesting. I don't know, that's a lot to spend on the one damage. Do you really want to do that, or do you want to survive the dash shot? That's a tough call. If you don't do anything, you definitely survive the dash call. He's taking the one damage. So he's already got two down. That's two damage. Yeah, it's not looking good. Looks like Dash's HLC coming up, four big dice. Yep, it'll look like that'll be range three obstructed, so plenty of dice. 4v4 from Dash here. Aaron going to call that one cocked or not? Yep, that's cocked. Rerolling that one. Looks like a zero. Oh, here comes the lone rat. So the lone two. wolf is within two, and safe. Rex is safe. Stay on target. Yeah, I mean, that was big. Uh, just another round of getting that suppressive fire going down. Again, it kind of forces Raph to pick Rex to shoot at. Tough luck there. Nothing for Lorik on Miranda. Not that you really want to shoot at the regen ship first. No. I'd rather chase Miranda late game. Nice. Hit, hit crit from the Wookiee. My goodness. Ooh, okay, so we've got some damage going. So there's one on dash. One shield on dash. Uh, then we've got a possibly a TLT from Rourke. Nope, just range three obstructed from Jess, it looks like. Jess with all her rerolls. Yeah, Jess can throw out some decent damage. Okay, we've got the one reroll coming from Jess here. And focusing up for three. Wonderful it's shot. A standard from thing to see. Defense dice here. Uh, two, one going through. He's curious if he was going to call that evade cocked. No, I mean, you don't call every die that you see cock, cock, right? Aaron's, Aaron's a casual player. He's not going to be a, a jerk like that. Oh, he's considering the crack shot here. Interesting. I wonder what they were looking at. I don't know if this is the right moment for crack shot. Nah. Yeah, I don't think so. On a round where it's gonna actually going to be kind of interesting to see what Raph does now with Dash. Um, I would spend the crack shot to get half health on Dash, that yep, I'm up on points, exactly. but no, not, not when it's just another shield. Okay, so end of first round of combat, we've got Rex taking two damage and Dash taking two damage. Not the worst? Not no. the best? No. Rourke got to bank that ray focus, so now their their rays are even. Yep. Uh, I guess the big thing that I see is uh, there's not a great lane for Raph to slam through with a bomb. No, I think that was by Aaron's design there, Mossy. <laughs> I would imagine so. Right? Lorik could just one bank to his left here. I mean, that puts him in front of a rock. But even if Lorik, like, two turned left. You can just play him straight, too. You could just play him straight, but then you're getting no shot from Miranda Swimmy, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It, it, like, we'll see. I'm pretty sure Aaron's going to go straight in through that rock formation. Well, I reckon both of our players are going to take a bit of time to think about their maneuvers on this round. So let's take the opportunity to talk about the players. We've talked a little about, about Aaron. 
Uh, how much do you know about Raft? Very little. Really? Like once this season. Oh. Um, well, Raph is named after my favorite Ninja Turtle, Raphael. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Raph has been for, I think, three or four seasons now with the PTL. This is the first time he's made the top eight cut. Gotcha. He's very, uh, very happy to be uh, rubbing shoulders with, you know, Eric Z and Devin and, and Aaron yeah. and the other top cut guys. Um, I've played him a bunch of times. He's a very resourceful player. He, uh, he definitely brings some really interesting creative lists uh, when it's time for that. And then when it's time to... You know, bring your A game and bring something off the net. Then he also flies that pretty solid. Yeah. I mean, we're seeing we're seeing a, a textbook opening from Dash Miranda here. Yeah. He's, he's oh, yeah. got a. I mean, it's not a bad list to take, right? Like when things are on the line, this is a pretty solid list to play. Miranda's probably the best ship in the game right now. Well, I mean, unfortunately, we had a situation arise this evening where. Victor and the folks at uh, VWTV Live were, were gracious enough to agree to just cast our stream matches tonight. Um, the difficulty in that lies that we have to book four players, two casters, and a, and a guy to come all and videotape the matches. Yeah. And unfortunately, we had a bit of a delay. <laughs> yeah. Turns out somebody went to the wrong store. Don't you hate it when you go to the wrong store? Yeah. Oops. And. Um, as Positive. a result, Thank we have you, our uh, yeah, oh yeah, Subway's amazing. Toronto, there's no way you get here that quickly if you were driving. That'd be terrible. Um, as a result, folks, unfortunately, we're only going to be able to stream one of the two top four matches uh, from this evening tonight because the other one is actually just about to get underway uh, to the right of us. It is uh, our current sitting league boss, Devin Monkhouse, versus Eric Z. Yep, a who is the Ottawa Regional Champion yes. and uh, very top contender for the league. And I think the only guy in the PTL who's ever won a match against Heber. Yeah, maybe. Allen, maybe. But maybe, yeah. You know, I, mean, I, don't I was know. playing him on Vassal. I don't I'm know if that positive. counts. Yeah, no. It only counts uh, in person, right? Pretty sure it only yeah. counts in person. Fair enough. Um, so they're playing a really interesting not uh, matchup, which is a bunch of mind link garbage against each other. Yeah. Not that you know. You don't know anybody, Mossy, who likes mind link, I'm do you? I'm kind of a fan. <laughs> You're As a fan. are you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I kind of like mine, like, yeah. I'm not going to lie. I will be very hurt. It just gets you so many options to fly with scum on ships that just otherwise would not be overly competitive. Like, I'm, I mean, it put Paylaw back on the table. That's really neat. I, I'm willing to say to FFG, if you don't nerf uh, Mine Link, then I'd be okay with you giving it to the other factions. Sure. Mine Link Defenders, that's not a problem. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of a problem. Uh, <laughs> See, I didn't really get to... I wasn't playing at the time of the PTL Aces, so I don't have the same love for the Empire of the nostalgia that a lot of people do. Um, you never had to chase Suntir around the bloody table. That's why hour. You never had to chase Alan's bloody Inquisitor yeah, around no. the table for an hour and ten minutes. No, and it sounds terrible. Okay, so let's get back into the action here. We've got Aaron just barely nicking a rock, but it doesn't look like it's going to be too much of a... I don't think he actually went over it. We're fine there. We just uh, talked to our players. Interesting that they didn't go the way I expected them to. Neither here. Um, different. I, Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think this is Aaron probably just thinking. Hmm. I'll be honest. I, like, I'm not really sure exactly why he uh, he's going for Miranda, obviously. I, um, I don't know if I like the barrel roll. I, I feel like he's just put Rex into bombing position. I think he's trying to make sure he keeps out of Dash's. I think he's trying to play Dash's donut. I think Dash is probably just doing a, either a, a three bank right or probably just a, a one turn left. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. The I one mean, turn left won't keep him in range one. Oh, that's why he did it. He had to get re make room for Lorik. That's a good See, you go. We don't even see. Aaron's on a whole other level. <laughs> he's like ahead of us yeah. with the level of the planning. Using those flashy new PTL templates he's got. Well, the other thing we got to keep in mind is with Lorik with that arc, as long as he's within range two, stress is going to get thrown, um, which is really good. Really, really good against Raph's list. I heart stress if your Aaron right now. He really wants to just... If he can stress Miranda and get three, four arcs on her, he will ruin her day. Yes. So Dash doing a very... Uh, dashy thing. Very dashy thing. Just three, four through a rock. Plopping right down there, and then I'm going to assess the situation. Might as well just... 
Uh, it's tough to say, right? Like, it's he could have barrel rolled back to just make sure he only got shot by Rex. See, I or could shoot Rex, but no one else. I um, don't know if I like the focus from Dash there. I would have preferred a barrel roll backwards to the right because now Dash coming about is not going to have range on those ships that they're all trying to turn around yep. next turn. You know what I mean? So Miranda dropping a bomblet generator because that card is totally fair and, and balanced. <laughs> it's at this point we should probably remind Raph that he did not bring them and can't hold that yeah, bomb for a turn. Like, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Bold strategy, Cotton. <laughs> Let's see if it works out for him. So he did a three straight. Um... So this is actually kind of interesting. Um, Does his three bank fit? I think his three bank. He did a two forward. He did a two forward. Oh, I yeah. thought it was a three forward. I think it was a two. I think you're right. That looks like a two. Shoot. Ouch, ski bibble. Yeah, so he's looking to slam then out. It's going to slam out, possibly drop a, a cluster mine, and Can't, finish off. He already off. dropped the bomb. Oh, that's true. Bold strategy, Cotton. Yeah. Yeah, it turns out just willy-nilly throwing down bomblet generators. I think it's at this moment that Raph is realizing you can't drop two bombs in a turn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bet you wish you could have that bomblet back now, Steve. Yeah, I think so. Because uh, Miranda's getting stressed, too. Keeping in mind that the VWTV live stream is PG or rated PG, I'm just gonna say feces occurs. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, like, really, Miranda's taking shots from only two ships. Yeah. So she'll get a TLT from Rourke and the shot in from Lower, but Rex well, isn't shooting. And at this Jess point, isn't shooting. I think I think Raph's probably hoping that's range one. Yeah. Because otherwise, he's uh, he's gonna Not get a stress a Miranda. Right. It's not ideal either because Miranda can just bomblet that spot again next turn and, and peace out. But. Exactly. I mean, like, uh, I think you may just take your lump here. It wasn't ideal, obviously, um, but... Looks like Miranda's not taking a defensive token and going for a target lock for the following turn. Wow. Okay. Sure. It's Miranda, man. She can just take her lumps she and really recharge. She really can. Like, so, I mean, I, that's not what I would have done, but at the same time, Raph's here, right? I mean, he's a good player. Um, and Miranda's got the health. Like, you can screw up with Miranda, and she can just come back. She can plank her way back to full shields. Yeah, I definitely don't want to say that she's that forgiving, because I actually find the K-Wings pretty unforgiving. If you don't fly them really well, and you get her caught at the wrong time. Yeah. Like, a lot of people just try to zoom in and bomb stuff, and then you get caught, and she just that's goes true. boom. That's true. But um, in terms of being forgiving in the sense of taking damage and then poodling off into the corner and recharging after two or three turns, yeah. Right. I mean, like, look at it this way. Raph's move this last round would have been very detrimental with most ships. Like, oh, you're yeah. going to be eating. You're not even shooting back in this case because of the slam. You're not doing any damage. Your bomblet didn't hit. Because I think your slam just negated Lone Wolf again. You can regen back up, right? Like, I mean, versus another ship, you'd be like, oh, I just wasted all of my shields off of a misplay. So we got Aaron Rorking lower it to a 12, focusing for three hits and a crit. Miranda taking sweet nothing, and that looks like a massive four, four hits. Yeah, so shields down already on Miranda. That is exactly what uh, Aaron needed, because now the TLT shots can probably put some damage through. Yeah. So we've got Miranda doing her TLT against. Uh, nope. No, this Dash, is. Dash, of course. Yeah, Dash, Dash because he's gone. Dash doing his heavy laser cannon. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and the thing that's so nasty, right, is that HLC just walks through. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's dead. <laughs> yeah, that's dead. I kind of figured we were going to see that sooner or later, right? I mean, with Dash being able to plank in, draw their fires, not even doing anything off an HLC? No. It's not good. Josh, Josh just gut punched Rex right in the face. Is that sorry? So we got Rourke's, Rourke's turrets coming up, and uh, looks like he's going to target Miranda. Is that obstructed? I guess our judge Billy is going to have to get up in there and determine whether or not that looks obstructed to me. But Aaron is biased in this case and doesn't get a say. Important reminder for newer players, Mossy: if in doubt, judge call for a judge. Particularly when there could be a difference of opinion. Right. Might as well. Doesn't hurt. 
judges are uh, one of those things that they're there for a reason. Uh, if there's any type of dispute on rules, you may as well. Uh, so there we go. It looks like Rourke's hitting for two. And Miranda just nattied. Stay on target. Uh, just one. Oh. And that's gut. Like, that's brutal. Stay on target. So this is the downside of fighting against this list, right? I mean, you just rip the shields off of Miranda. Unless he keeps at it, she's just going to regen. So frustrating. That was your chance to get two permanent damage in. Yeah. And, you know, wow. That was a very unfavorable TLC shot. But yeah. you know what? Feces occurs. Exactly. Well, I mean, next round we're going to have a bomblet. Dash probably just, you know, maybe two harding, something like that. <laughs> and continue on. So we're going to take this moment as we're nearing the 40-minute mark uh, to do a couple of things. First thing I'm going to do is lean over here and ask our good friend Victor if he would mind just moseying over to the Eric versus Devin table and let us know how the Mindlink uh, Slugfest is going. And then we're going to take a couple of minutes. We're going to talk about the PTL. Um, yeah. Prototype Toronto League now in its end of its ninth season. Looking for uh, our sweet dime anniversary coming up, or our yeah. tenth season. That'll yeah, be been around for a while. We're going to start it up uh, sometime in November. It's going to run right through to the uh, after Christmas. Uh, and it's going to be a week longer. We're doing, uh, I think, nine or ten weeks this time just yeah, because nine weeks. the Christmas holidays are there. We want to give everybody some extra time yep. uh, to not play with tiny plastic spaceships and see their families. Yeah, I, right. I mean, like, it gives you an excuse to get away. <laughs> sure. Um, and then, you know, we just wanted to bring to uh, light some of the things that you're seeing on the table tonight, folks. So you've seen uh, Aaron's flashy new uh, PTL template cards, and you've seen uh, the condition tokens from uh, PTL as well. Right. We've got uh, participation prizes for the league out uh, for Season 9 this year. Let's run through them really quickly. We had three custom-made cards. title cards. Yeah for things that always go hand in hand. So you've got like the TIE X uh, title and advanced targeting computer yep. for the TIE Advance. You've got the new... Best eye, right? The new uh, Star Viper Mark III and uh, Visago titles in yep. one. Yep. And then you've got the uh, the Black One uh, integrated Astromech mm -hmm. uh, yep. card as well. And you know... Our, our league boss and our volunteers have gone to a lot of trouble uh, complimenting uh, Steve and Kim on the artwork. Yeah, they're fantastic. And they're great looking cards. You know, the funny thing about PTL, everybody like talks about us as being like this big competitive group, and we're really not. It's a lot more casual than people give us credit no. for. Yeah, I agree. And its proof is in the in the prizes because the participation prizes are always more awesome oh, than the top sure. pick card. Hundred percent. Do you remember the look on Christian's face at the end of season eight? When he got the tip, the top cut eight prize, and we handed him a giant plastic Chewbacca, yeah, and he like, was like, "What sorry. the heck is this?" <laughs> yeah, like, sorry, <laughs> I don't want it. Th that's what but you I, get. I do, I do want it because it's awesome and it's chewy, but it's way too big for my apartment. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I mean, like that's the thing. The top eight prizes tend to just be more like novelty kind of gifts, I suppose, and even really game type gifts. Sometimes there's some really nice stuff. You know, it's true because. You know, we want to offer uh, a competitive incentive for people to remember that during the Swiss cut of the league uh, weeks when you're playing your, your eight matches, our, our uh, league is set up so that you can't replay name pilots. Right. You can't repeat the same number of generics. And now you're getting bonuses for playing matches with the hardest ships to play in the, in the game. Like, I had, a, I had a match with a U-Wing this season, and right. it was a butt ton of fun. What did you do this month, or this season, Rossi? How did I do, or what did I fly? A little bit of both. Okay, so, um, you know, I think I ended up doing, uh, like, five and two, four and three, something around there on um, the season. Flew a lot of jank. Like, honestly, I use the league, and I feel like a lot of people probably use the league as a way to try out new lists and just try to fly things a little unconventional. Um, so, you know, sometimes it clicks and sometimes you swing and a miss, big time. Um, it's always fun. How about yourself, Tim? I, uh, as I said, I had one game of the U-Wing, which was great. I had one game that I was really looking forward to against Mike Reverso. Yep. Uh, that was um, my original trilogy. He always trilogy. flies fun stuff. He does, and we, we agreed to do um, one of our... So you got a bonus point this season for flying an original trilogy yep. list. So that's... They did only a couple of those this season. Yeah, it was, so it's only ships that have re appear in the original trilogy. 
pilots and upgrade cards are unlimited. Um, so I took three PS4 TIE Interceptors, so four Saber Squadrons with Push the Limit and Auto Thrusters, so three of them, three of them, and then one TIE Advanced with uh, with uh, the title, and you know what, I can't even finish talking about my list, Moss, what is happening? Uh, exactly what we thought was going to happen, more or less. Miranda's going to duck out, and uh, you're going to see a lot of bombs. Poor, poor, poor Aaron. I mean, I like, yeah... I guess I think Raph should just slam through here. Yeah, and he does. So it looks like we're gonna have um, maybe a TLT shot. Or sorry, maybe a uh, um, a Lorik shot from uh, Aaron onto Dash. Maybe. But honestly, Raph's in a great position here. This is Raph's in a great position because the following turn he can just um, four straight Dash and he can peace out. It's really not good for Aaron right now. Um, I mean, the thing is, is like shooting TLT into Miranda, it's, you can slowly just kind of hold her from really being able to regen that much. But the problem is, is Aaron's not putting in the shots on Miranda. So like, that was, really uh, that, that was a whiff on the bomb to Lorik. Jess is rolling for the bomb now. Zero, and we're gonna Sabine one damage onto Jess. Yeah. I don't think it's possible for Aaron to have asked for much more in that situation, Moss. No. No. <laughs> this is where you sit there and you're like, yay. Aaron, where's the jumping jacks, man? Yay. <laughs> I thought Aaron would be doing backflips. Jeez. But at the same time, you're going to just start seeing HLC shots come in. Like, this is going to get brutal and in a hurry. Okay, so Miranda slam, no shots there. We got uh, Rourke putting Lorik up to a 12. We got range three. Oh my. Stay on target. Yeah, that's not good. Like it's just the, the little things, right? He's gotta get so much ahead. Uh, every shot that he can get is really counts. So when you just fully whiff out, it's brutal. Oh, we got an HLC into Rourke. HLC coming from Dash onto, looks like he is shooting at Rourke, you're right. And Lone Wolf is active. Lone Wolf is active, that's two shots. And he looks like he's focusing up for three. Rourke gonna take his defense. Oh, oh my! Stay on target. Well, I mean, Aaron's greens have really helped, right? I mean, well, maybe not just his greens. His ability to roll not hits for his own ships and his greens have helped him in this I started to feel like Aaron's red dice don't like him and his green dice do like him. I don't know if that's a relationship you'd rather trade I know, or it's like, uh, whatever you're going to do. We're going to see. Okay, so we've got the TLT from Rourke returning onto Dash. No, I think he's going into Miranda. Oh, he is going into Miranda. That's right, because he can put permanent damage in because she didn't shoot. So two into Miranda. That's great. I like TLT fire. Two permanent damage onto Miranda Doni. You know what, that must be what Aaron was thinking with that bomb. He thinks to himself, you know what, if Miranda gets herself into that corner... He's going to eat it, right? Like, I mean, there's only so much. So Miranda right now is not getting out of that corner this round. Like, she might do too hard, too straight, something like... Odds are she's going to get hit. Well, the other thing to keep in mind is Laura can just two-turn right, and then he'd have probably both Dash and Miranda in range. Yeah. I don't think he can three-turn. I mean, the... I wonder the, if he can three-bank in there, actually. I just think that the, the three bank is probably pointless because he's going to want to come about harder to chase Dash anyway. It's tough for me to tell, like, a two-turn on the screen, where that puts him in relation to that rock. Yeah, the depth perception is much different than you actually think when you're yeah. looking at this. It's like learning Basel, man. <laughs> it takes <laughs> some games. <laughs> That's a good point to say. If uh, if any of our watchers are ever on Basel, there's definitely a few members of the PTL that, uh, yeah. that ended up playing on it. Uh, I know that you're Moss Isley on sure Timbo am. Slice. And uh, there's a few, definitely a few other of us that are bouncing around on there, mainly for the ones that uh, can't make it out to more than once a week or, or yeah. if they can make it all. I know that I've been... It's a great way to pick up a pickup game, man. Like, I mean, you just come out and you're like, I want to play X-Wing. Boot it up. Odds are somebody else also wants to play X-Wing and is right there. Doesn't matter if they're in uh, Spain or yeah. uh, Arizona. Yeah, it's really nice. So to our right, we have the other uh, semifinal match just getting underway. It looks like Eric Z, the... Uh, Top eight uh, system open slash Ottawa regional champ is playing uh, Dengar in Aldra Genesis Red. Yep. Mine link Genesis Red equipped with uh, 
HLC. HLC. I think. Yeah. And it looks like uh, Devin is playing, playing the hotness. The hotness. The, the Mean Girls. The uh, the uh, Inaldra, Asajj, and Ketsu. Yeah, kind of a fan. I, I don't dislike the list. <laughs> kind of a fan. So we've got an interesting choice from Jess here. She's looking like she wants to get out in front. I love She's that. Three, I thought for sure that three turn was going to hit that rock. Wow. Yeah. She's trying to cut off Miranda for sure. Aaron, boost forward. Aaron yeah. has been playing like an absolute boss this game. Well, like Miranda's in a bad spot right now. I mean, like Raph is really. Uh, it's just going to get a little sketchy. Kind of. This is definitely a round where you could see Miranda go down. You know, she's at three hall. This is the kind of thing where you even kind of want to slam, but you're, you really can't. You'd be shooting. You're not going to get to regen again. I think the regen is the only chance you have to save yourself. Yeah. Um, I mean, Aaron traded a bomb. Aaron just made a half so of Aaron a traded a double bomb and position for trapping Miranda. I would. I think out of the roll uh, back if I were to dash. Interesting. I would have gone more towards the center of the board and just pulled the focus and only run a single focus since you're not taking a shot. It's not a bad idea. And you know what? Out of the two pieces, dash is definitely um, just as punchy in the late game as Miranda is. I think that Miranda's a better target to clear first, yep. if you can. That's a big if sometimes. But the reason that she's better, I think, is because... Um, this is rough. This is rough. Can he, I don't even think he can slam at that point. Uh, I think he can three bank. It's a tough, tough angle. thing is, if he puts that down, he's doing it, right? <laughs> uh, well, we're going to see here in a minute. I mean, Jess looks like she'll have a range three. And Rourke will almost definitely get his TLT shots in, so... Much will depend on how much damage Raph can do in this turn before uh, Aaron shoots at Miranda. Yep. Yeah, and I mean, I guess that's the other thing, right? Is we are going to see Rourke pushing up the PS on Jess, probably. See, if I was Aaron, I would have pushed up lower... Oh, my goodness. I think he measured for... I would have measured... I would have pushed up Lorik to 12. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Oh, we have to remember... Jess has crack shot. Oh, Jess does have crack shot. Miranda does not like Chris. She is dead. Oh my oh, no, no, goodness! No, no. She is alive. Crap. Stay on target. All right, crack shots so used. So we've got a hit and a crit. And if that's anything, uh, oh. Direct hit. That is a direct hit. That is a dead Miranda. Uh, Aaron needed that. I think it was the only chance Aaron really had it. Uh, I agree. To uh, I hate to say it, this spot. is one of these things that, even this though, not the worst ever. Dash can do some work on this list. Well, Dash would love to just pop Rourke right here. Um, I mean, if he can put four damage into Rourke right now. Okay, we got. Lone Wolf reroll. Ooh, bummer. Uh, then we got a Ray coming. No, that was Cox. Oh, no, yeah. Yep. Okay. Spending the focus. And we got four hits coming from Dash. Let's see what Rex Rourke can do. Take Rourke three. taking three. Yep. So Rourke will get um, Rourke will get uh, three or sorry, one more turn at least for bumping somebody up to PS twelve. Right. I love what um, Aaron has done with his ships here because he can disengage with Rourke and keep him behind the other two while they chase Yep. Dash, and he gets to PS bump one of them. Here's the TLT coming from Rourke. Looks like that one's going through on the first. Nope, misses. Yep. Ooh. Oh, my. Ooh, that's not what you wanted. So, picked up a really nice favor uh, for Miranda dying, and. Small mercies, right, Mozzie? Not great from Rourke. <laughs> Rourke could have done another damage or two there to Dash, but you know what? Dash is in better position than he, he should be. I know. He's got the avenues to escape. Uh, I love his just one turn the following turn. Yeah. Because I don't believe that Jess can get into a good position. I mean, she could two-turn right, but then she's right in front of that rock, and she's screwed. I would think about just slow playing this far, Aaron, at this point. Like, not really slow playing, not chasing that part. Like, I think I would set yourself up in a better position, so maybe even turn the hawk out and just slowly move in until you can get a better turn. 
See, I really need you to get out of my head, yeah. Moss. Is that what you're right? Because that what, you're thinking what I was thinking is this is a perfect opportunity for us to talk about um, something for our newer players who are listening in. So formation flying going into the late game. Yep. You've assessed your opponent, Dash Miranda. You've attacked your opponent. You've isolated one of them, committed to the target priority, yeah. and finished the job. Yeah. One of the most common things I've only always seen at this point is the formation flying player oh, yeah. to start splitting all their ships up. Yeah. And this is your chance, to your point, because you're ahead on points now, to not slow play, but take a couple of turns. Yeah, slow play, I guess. So, sorry, I meant slow play more as a not slow down like the placer dials. Don't chase the dash. It is yeah. not. You don't want to be chasing dash. I mean, at least it's not a PTL jet dash, but... Push the limit dash? Oh, yeah, oh, he's no fun. Ugh. Push the limit dash with engine is just yeah, mean. exactly. It's like, oh, chase me. Yeah, chase me, <laughs> chase me. No, but Aaron has the time that he needs now uh, to get his ships back into formation. Yep. And it's so crucial that a player with this type of list takes that time because you have two ships that can't do K-turns. Right. And if you willy-nilly just K-turn Jess, I'm going to get right on dashes six and chase him, then it's very easy for you to uh, to get Jess overcommitted and just picked off. So this, uh, so Dash is obviously going to barrel roll off this. Well, this is one of these cases, actually, Tim, where you would potentially want to check. He should be saying, I'm turning off Dash's ability here to check to make sure it fits. Yeah, I would as well, because there's no guarantee that it does fit. Uh, it looks like the barrel roll is going to fit, which would mean that Jess doesn't have arc, but Lorik has, looks like range 2 through a rock, and a TLT unobstructed shot. So, not the decision I would have made, but you know what? It does give Dash a tremendously better avenue of escape yep. the following turn yep. to continue getting behind Aaron's list. That That is Raph's only chance at this point is he's got to get Dash behind those ships that can't turn around. Right, and we have to remember the one thing that is kind of nice, well, I guess it's nice for Aaron, is that Jess can boost. It's true. It's a, a lot better in that case. because if this Oh, it looks like Raph forgot about the tactician through the rock. Dash is stressed. Uh, we've got one hit coming from Lorik, unless no, you can't lone wolf uh, an Focus. eyeball there, Raph. That's fine. So Raph is going to not one. spend it and take the one. Good call. He wants to pump. He wants to make sure Rourke goes off the board this round. Oh, you've got to. If you don't kill that hawk, you're in big trouble. Yeah. So Dash is going to shoot now. Looks like range, whatever. Doesn't matter because it's HLC yep. unobstructed. Oh, very nice start. Oh, that's a Kept, dead Rourke. That's where you keep a focus for, folks. Yeah. That is a dead Rourke. Pretty much doesn't matter what Rourke rolls at this point because he's taking it. Aaron uh, just put him up there. So that was a great trade for uh, for um, Raph there. Yeah, 100%. Like Raph that. traded a stress on Dash. Not to mention Lorik now. He, it's not like he can three-turn through that rock and get in front of Dash. He's in big trouble now. He's got to, like, one forward or something, right? Who, Lorik? Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, with the 180 arc, doesn't matter as much. No, I would agree. I would agree. Dash's greens, remind me, one forward, one bank, two forward, right? Yeah, it's not great. That's the thing it. that could be kind of interesting is it's tough to see if a three hard over the rock with low rip would put him in front of Dash. It would be ideal. You'd take a damage from the rock. Maybe. But you'd almost definitely get a shot on Dash, and it would almost possibly be in the donut hole. And potentially bump him. Right? Question, like, I mean, Aaron's got to decide to himself at this point. I've got, one, I've got one, I've got one bank. Do. I've got one bank focus on Ray. I can two turn Jess. Because the other thing that we notice right here, um, Raph is out of focus tokens. Is Ray is bare. This is like Ray. I'm living in an AT-AT. Yeah, it's, it's not. This great. isn't like Ray. I'm on the island with Luke training. This no, is like. No. I just found a Jawa trying to steal BB-8 right now. Yeah, it's, it's sad. Sad day. Okay, so it looks like Aaron has made his decision. Uh, whether or not he tries to go balls out and take down Dash now, or he plays a conservative and comes about that rock slowly. Um, I, I really caution most players in this position. 
you are so far further behind the eight ball with these two ships against Dash in this late game. It's not good. Than you think you are. No, yeah, it's not You've good. You've got to keep the pressure up on Dash. If he starts banking Ray Focus tokens again, you are in so much hurt. That's really the problem, right? Is that right now, I feel like as long as Wrath just doesn't do anything um, overly aggressive or just kind of silly, he can realistically solo these ships. I mean, with the reposition in the rocks, you can just kind of sit there and play around in them. So definitely did the green, doing the one, one bank. bank. It's just going to get... So stressed again. Interesting choice if he stays put. Okay. So Raph checking out his position. No way to see if uh, Lorik hasn't been arc yet because you're not allowed to check range until right. combat starts. Unless you're a Saj, of course, and you can check for your, uh, yep. your mobile firing arc ability. It's a beautiful thing. I love Very, that very thing. beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. No, it's not a bad call. Let's barrel roll into that spot. So Jess can't shoot at me. Lower it can't shoot at me. I don't know if he'll have a range two shot this yeah, turn. Does. Maybe to yeah, Jess. He's take... Yeah. And this is just where it gets nasty, right? Yeah. Like, you can just sit there and. So we've got Lower it not using Ray. Nothing to Rourke, because Rourke is dead, so Dash shoots first. Yeah. Looks like we've got a range two obstructed on Jess. we got the HLC coming. Raph just throwing dice all over the place like it's his job. One hit. For one. Coming up on Jess's roll here, and she's going to cleanly evade that. So Raph has given himself a great, great avenues for escape here. Yeah, it's tough. I also don't even dislike the four forward. No. Four forward's just fine, right? If you four forward, Jess could three turn, sure, but then Lorik's gonna have to three turn around that rock. He's gonna be way out of range. Yeah. This is gonna be a little great uh, late game of cat and mouse that we've got going here. It's hopefully at this point when both players look at the clock and realize that you've entered the last segment of your match. You have 20 minutes left, so... That's actually the thing to keep in mind in this, though, right, Tim? Is that Aaron is up on points. Raf really can't afford to give up half. If he gives up half, he has to kill Both Aaron's entire list. You got it, mate. Yeah, if Raf can somehow continue the pressure up and pick off Jess, it's going to be really tough with Lorik nearby, but... I mean, the synergy between Jess being able to re-roll that die yeah. and the reinforced token to spend, it's why he's the father of fair shit, man. Yeah. This year, though, I mean, like, Raph can just hard turn on this if he wants to and do ring around the asteroid. And Lorix, you, you can't turn around. I, I actually like the three-bank left barrel roll from Raph. Sure. And then start coming down the open left side of the board. I mean, Dash likes to be in the rocks, especially against sh ships like this where Lorik can't turn around and he's got to kind of stay close to Jess. So there's nothing really wrong with a, a one-turn right followed by a barrel roll I know. Uh, towards the that's corner. That's what I was thinking. But then you're facing the corner again, and that's exactly what Aaron wants. Just keep hard turning. Aaron wants Raph to head back into a corner. Yeah. Aaron will find a way to... Uh, yeah, Aaron is disengaging. <laughs> this is a great reminder for formation fly. You know, yes. you know you're gonna need two turns to get Lorik turned around that rock. And he needs it, right? Like Lorik needs some time and you wanna keep Jess close for the reroll. Yeah, because the following turn Jess could 4K or Talon roll in right. either direction and Lorik can be right there based on knowing where Dash is going now. So Dash has done his huge thing up board. Raph might be tempted to barrel roll in. This is not when you do that. This is when you take a focus token and bank your ray. But Raph's getting super aggressive now. He wants to try and put some damage into Jess. Looks like he's going to have an unobstructed shot, and we're going to see if that HLC can pull some damage. Mm, yeah, that, that might be clipping that rock. I don't know. It's more and more rare that we see Jess Pava going into matches without, sorry, with auto thrusters. She usually goes with integrated astromech these days. But geez, that uh, that auto thrusters uh, right money. now would have been would have been money right now. Okay, so we're gonna get Billy the Judge, not to be confused with Billy the Kid. It's obstructed. 
I would say it's probably not obstructed. I think I see part of the rock sneaking out on both sides. Yeah, I don't even think they're over the corner. Oh, everybody clinch! Clinch! Oh, is it obstructed? Unobstructed. Okay. Unobstructed. Okay, we got the HLC coming. That is just a horrible whiff. One crit. Jess could evade it cleanly. Yep. Stay on target. Lorik opted to take a focus and not a reinforced token that time to get his ray going. Yeah. Yeah, good move actually. Uh, because right now, I'm actually kind of curious to see what. I wonder if Aaron's going to play this long and maybe set up like a K-turn or something like that on Jess and just, you know, really pull her out and let lower it kind of mosey the way around and just come around the corner of the board. Do you, I don't know. I lost a final match at a regional against a dash player. It was a very good dash player. Yeah. Some things went very wrong for me in that match. Yeah. My opponent was very good, but some things definitely went very wrong for me. Um... I have played against many dashes, and I am yeah. proud to say that I beat more dashes than dashes beat me. Yeah. And the one thing I can tell you about playing against dash, do not try to fly co close quarters on him. No, he Don't try to do tight turns. He will outmaneuver you. Yeah. You need to do exactly what Aaron's doing. Disengage. Yep. Come about and set up a lane where you can try and hurt him where you need to go. The one thing I guess we got to keep in mind with these newer dashes is they don't have engine upgrade. Chasing a push dash or trying to play around and against a push dash was more or less pointless. I love um, it. Aaron, Aaron probably going to do the three right turn from uh, Lorik and, and set himself up with a. No, he is. He does have prime thrusters, but I think the boot the boost would have probably interfered with Lorik's. Uh, yeah, he had something to maneuver mind. here. Makes sense. Yeah. Right, like he's lining up. He can now go both ways, pretty much. With uh, Jess is in a really good sp spot to get shots on dash. Looks like he's reinforcing the front. Yep. Uh, that makes sense. I don't think well, Raph's going to be able to get out. It's a tough of, call. Dash um, is right on the uh, line. You know what? That's a perfect. Why don't we talk about that? Sure. So if Lower it can shoot you. You, ha you are hitting the front. You do not have a choice. So if he reinforces the back and he can't shoot you, he's been reinforced. Correct. And if he's if he's reinforced the front, and that, so no shots this turn, just fine. Looks like uh, Raph continuing the solid. It's the thing about Dash. you got to remember when you're playing him, he has to avoid you. I know. He has to avoid your ships to be effective. He has to avoid getting too close to them. So if you control the middle, like Aaron has done, he took the time to disengage That's and get exactly back into the where middle. Dash wants to be. Like Dash wants to sit in that middle and pull you into those rocks. Um, you know the way he's playing him, forcing, being forced to play him now is more like how you play something like a TLT ship. You're kind of skirting those edges yeah. versus wanting to just dive through and yank people into those rocks where you don't care. Think psychotic clown on a unicycle yeah. on a tightrope. He just loves being in the middle, yeah. like doing spirals, shooting his machine gun in every direction. Dash is a dick. It's, it's a, so much fun to play. A, a really weird analogy, but I saw that movie It the other day, and I, I just I hate clowns. Yeah. So. One of my favorite horror movies. I like the original one a lot. Uh, the new one's pretty good. Uh, shot, actually, some s scenes of it were shot right down from my house. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know they shot it in the junction. Yeah, they sure did. Yeah, so that's a really fun thing. Um, I'll be curious to see. Raph needs to maybe pick up the pace a little bit on this. There's 15 minutes left, and he needs to do some legit damage to take down one of these ships. And the problem is, is he can't give up half. If he gives up half, he's in big trouble. He's in big trouble. Time alone. I don't, I don't think a two-turn barrel roll clears him here. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I think Dash's barrel might get him out of both of these arcs. But again, another turn of not getting a focus token back. Looks like he somehow got a focus token. He got one last turn. Mm. There were no shots. So he is taking that barrel roll. Looks like he's right on the board edge. Really well flown by Raph here. It's going to be interesting to see if Jess has arc. Just I don't think arc. so. I don't think either. So he's going to Ray just to be sure. Ray just to be sure. 
Uh, Lowert might have a shot, though. Yeah, so we got HLC coming from Dash onto Jess. This is going to be Raph's best chance for some damage in the long term. Just lays it out. Yeah. Yeah, got to spend Jess it. Jess rolling her defensive dice, not looking good so far. And, oh, it looks like we got three hits going through. Two hits, Two hits. going through. On to Jess, with lower expending his reinforced token there. Gotta love that damage mitigation. We still got three full health and an integrated astromech for yep. Jess to play. Lower doing a far bomb range three shot. Ban that ray focus came in handy there, I'll tell you what. Oh, oh my Ooh. goodness. Hey man, sometimes dice help you out. <laughs> uh, given, he put himself in the right spot, right? It was range three through a rock. So he was rolling plenty of dice. Dash loves range three through a rock, exactly. man. Exactly. He's got that HLC that negates your range bonus. Yep. He loves it. It looks like Jess is way out of arc here, so Aaron gonna have to convince. So you know, Aaron's in a, in a tough spot now. He's gotta really reassess. Aaron might want to peel away here, actually. And, and ironically enough, he's almost in the exact same spot he was when he killed Miranda, and he's gonna have to come across around that rock one more time. Yeah, Aaron may just want to peel away here, to be honest. Let's just make sure that Billy has informed both of our players about how much time they have left. Would you mind just asking them? Hey, Billy. Oh, well, that's okay. Victor's gonna go. Victor gonna go make sure that uh, they're all being advised. I was gonna say, we're coming up on this. This actually should really matter. Well, it's to your point. I mean, if if Raf gets an unfavorable engagement and Dash ends up with half health, then Aaron's almost got it in the back. He's got a, Raf has to kill both ships at that point. Yeah. He can no. kill one or the other at this point and take the win, but it's not easy. No. No, not at all. It's really great to see um, a PCL player like Raf make it this far in the top cut. I saw some of the janky uh, bonus lists that he played this season, mm. and they were really creative. Um, for anybody watching who's interested, you can go over to the PCL Facebook group and you can yep. look, uh, just search somebody's name. Yeah, so Aaron. And see all their uh, their lists they played this time. Does look like he's disengaging a little bit, which I think is the right call. Uh, wouldn't have been good trying to pull yourself through the rock. <laughs> To chase Dash. No, I would tend to agree there, Moss. Looks like Lorik coming about. Gives him the option next round to just Talon roll. Nobody does that like Aaron. Nobody skirts yeah. rocks like that. I, I can't tell you how many times I thought for sure Ooh. it was going to hit a rock. And oh my goodness, I think Aaron may have guessed right there, Mossy. That is not looking good for Dash Rendar. No. He can't stay there or he is in big trouble. This is not great, actually, for him, period. I don't know if he can get out of range two. Almost definitely uh, I not. I think he just put himself in range two. Going to have to deal with taking his shots without a Ray Focus token this turn. We'll see if the HLC continues to be uh, a fickle mistress to uh, Ray, or sorry, to Raph at this point. Yeah. Oh, so okay, we got a lone roll, free roll, and that's a hit. So we got two hits from the HLC coming through. Jess got one fine. evade there, and she is just fine. Right, with the reinforced token, unless Raph has that focus, it's going to be tough pushing damage through. Here's Lorik's primary tactician stress at range two. Oh, that is half health on Dash Rendar. The thing is now is uh, Lorik can just play ring around the rock. Aaron being a gentleman, reminding Raph of the lone wolf there, re-roll. Yep. Uh, that's the way we do at the PTL. Yep. We love playing games that are cash because you know what, at the end of the day, if you beat your opponent and he forgot eight triggers or something Who like cares? that. Yeah, exactly. A win's only, if, unless you're both having fun, to be honest, and it's not like at a competitive tournament, even then, like you want both you and your opponent to have a good time playing the game. Okay, if I'm at a competitive tournament and somebody brings like Nim Miranda or some oh. some BS netlist or something oh, like that, I mean they're horrible. And they're sitting down at the table. I want them to remember all of their triggers because if I beat them, then I beat them. Yeah. To be fair though, if it's a Nim Miranda and they're across the table, I'm not reminding them of anything. <laughs> like no. Oh, did you, did you <laughs> nah. forget to bomblet? Yeah. Too bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we've got Dash, who's stressed, uh, thanks to a just masterful two-right turn from Aaron there. I did not think that two-turn was going to fit, Wow, Nancy. I know, right? Like, Aaron knew he was up against the wall there. Uh, he really needed 
that to go through, and if he parked it on the rock, it would have been equally as terrible. Like, he needed to sink some damage in on Dash, and just as importantly, get that stress going. Because right now, Dash is going to have a really hard time pursuing. The thing I love the most about Aaron's position, though, Moss? Three talent on Jess. The three talent on Jess with Prime Thrusters for one. For two, I'm pretty sure Lorik's three hard turn to the right also fits. fits. Yeah, yeah I, I am too. <laughs> yeah. Victor's kind enough to go and get us an update on the other match that's being played tonight. What do you got, Victor? Uh, so, Eric's Dengar is dead. Eric's Dengar is dead. He has two six left. Seek, uh, Genesis Red and Inaldra still alive. Yep. Ooh. So our fearless leader, Devin Monkhouse, traded half health on uh, Ketsu for Dengar. Sounds fair. Turns out jump masters <laughs> don't like not having agility. Yeah. Who knew? Yeah. Big Joe Silva just walks in the building. What a cl classy cat. Yeah, it turns out if you're looking for a solid counter against jumps, Asajj with lats pretty good against Jumpmaster. Asajj is great against any mind link list because yeah. when you stress one of them, you get three of eight. Three days. of eight tokens. Sure, bring your mind link list. Yeah. Great shit. Like, absolute. Plus, it's, the Shadowcaster is so much fun to fly. It is a lot of fun. It flies super fast. It's, it requires a lot of forethought, though, because yeah. you have to be thinking ahead with that mobile arc or you end up wasting your actions changing it. Ooh, so here we go. Rash stress. taking a very conservative two turn here, or sorry, two straight here. I guess because he was stressed, needed to get the heck out of dodge. Uh, yeah, here comes more stress. Oh, he measured for the target lock. I see. Raf realizing that if he wants to have a chance, oh boy, it's better to take a lump at range one than a stress at range two and just continue not being able to get away. Plus, if he barrel rolls here, he has a chance to take out Jess. Yep. Which a very slim chance, but let's see if that HL. Ooh. No. Not when you were like that, Raf. Stay on target. Oh, there's one. Oh, that one did go through, didn't yeah. it? So despite rolling like garbage, <laughs> he actually got a damage. Still through. damage. Turns out Lone Wolf on dash, not a bad card. Oh, ow. Ouch, key bibble. I hear a die just bouncing ow. under like six <laughs> table table legs. Dash gonna roll. Oh, okay, so three more coming on Dash. Well, three more coming in from Low Rig there. Aaron once again reminding of Raf of the Lone Wolf. I think Aaron Raf's getting a little bit frustrated at this point, uh, He's which in is a understandable. Bad spot. He's not in a great spot. And like at this point, Lower can just kind of slowly putt around, um, and Jess can just keep doing what Jess does, right? Like, I mean, you can throw a three hard here and just boost through if you want. I'm really happy that we got this match on stream because I really feel like this is a textbook way to uh, so approach yeah. Dash Miranda when you're in a squad like this. Either Fair Ship Rebels or a mix of Imperial ships, like yep. you got two Aggressors and two of those new Star Wings coming out. Yep. Or if you got, you know, Aggressor TLT, like Defender, Omega Leader, yeah. or something like that. Um, Dash is not perfect. He's very, very good piece, he is, and he will get you if you if you change your game plan. Yes. If you yeah. don't stick to your plan and you let him dictate where you go, he will drag your ass yeah. into a corner and yeah. kill you. Um, you know, it's little things, right? When you're playing a two ship list, your margin of error is tight. Um, and Miranda's a little forgiving, but the way that Aaron had it positioned, he did so much upfront damage that Miranda had to play as cagey as possible. Yeah. Like, he had to slam Super out because he cagey. would just die. Um, and he did. He ended up getting into a corner, and Aaron, and, uh, Aaron finished him. Interesting but, we didn't see a nut, We didn't see a talent roll in there. Looks like he's trying to keep Jess alive. Yeah. Lowerick putting himself almost, almost, like, symmetrically in the middle of the map. Yep. I, I swear to God, that looks like it's actually perfect in the middle of the map. Is Aaron actually trying to test? No. <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh, it looks like he did a three-turn when he had a two-turn plugged in. Ah. Uh, Honest see. mistake. Big He's Joe Silva. How you hey going, buddy? Good? Came here to watch the slaughter? Uh, depends on who, who I'm watching. I think uh, Devin is slaughtering uh, Eric over there right now. I heard Dengar went down one round or Dengar something. Dengar just got yeah. beat like he stole something. 
This has been, you know, you should go over there and sell rap. This has been an absolutely it's been a fun match. Amazing game to watch. Um, well, he'd probably know, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, this is this has been Aaron running a textbook match on how to herd and trap Dash with four ships. But um, Raph had some pretty unfavorable attack die rolls. And the thing is now is, right, yeah. like Raph's looking at this and he's like, I want to barrel roll back so I can make sure I shoot Jess. Well, move right Dash. That's pretty, that's some really bad rolls. Yeah. Well, I mean, Raph ran out of focus tokens Not after... Really. Two or three turns of engagement, and he hasn't really been able to get him back because Lorik has tactician on him. He's yeah. got to stay far away or close to, to Lorik here. Yeah, so. like he played it well. I mean, that's how you deal with Ray. You rush her, make sure she doesn't accumulate tokens, and just punish. Yep. You got it, man. Uh, looks like Raph really could have used that Ray focus there again. We got one hit going through, and just evading it cleanly. And so we have stress coming back with Tactician. We'll Looks see like if he triggers it. Lorik might be able to finish the job here. But uh, we just and like to take this does. opportunity to, regardless of how this turn works out, we really want to thank Victor and the folks at Feed Double TV Live again for uh, casting our PTL top match yeah, uh, cut. Absolutely great. And the work you guys do for helping X Wing and, and Armada in the community is really appreciated. Uh, looks like we've only got one hit coming through from Dash Lives to See Another I like how he Day. Spent it. I, I did like this spend. They get a single hit. It's like he could have banked out with Ray. Moss, or... <laughs> am, am, I, am I delusional, or is that like the sixth time that Raph's dash is in that spot facing that corner? Oh, I know. <laughs> the thing is, though, and it's really nice with dash, and I think he just... He's just kind of in a rough way. His dash right now can still just continually plunk HLC shots into Jess. The problem is, is he spent so many rounds repositioning when he may not have had to and played it a little slower with banking focus tokens so he could get the mods. Because this list is a pretty tough nut to crack. I love the two turn as opposed to the talent roll here. Um, a lot of people would be tempted to, uh, to, you know, call it a last stand, if you will, and yeah. talent roll just to try and finish Dash nah, off. It gives you tight range, right? Like That's exactly what Dash wants. He wants you to get impatient yeah. and try and finish him off, and he'll pop one of your guys, and he'll yep. just get out of there. The problem is if Raph came in, and he did, range one. Uh, he's going to have to barrel roll again to get a shot in on Jess. I don't know if Jess has arc where she is, No, dude. no, no. I don't think he does, but he has to barrel out so he can shoot Jess. Yeah. Right now, Jess is in his donut. Well, plus Dash is really in an unfavorable position as far as where he goes next turn, right? Yeah. Jess can Talon roll, yeah. Lower can three bank in there, so... Um, you know, really well flown. I just really wanted to compliment um, Raph a played Aaron again on his yeah, flying, and, and Raph has played phenomenally well. Very cagey for Dash. Um... Looks like we're going to one more set to dial. Nope, no shots for Dash there. Unfortunately, he whiffed on his HLC. Stay on target. Looks like the Wookiee's gonna try and finish this off at range two here, folks. Yep. And did. Ah, uh, he gets a reroll. Take your reroll. And that's it. There's the handshake, folks. Yep, no, he finished him off, though. Yep. Excellent, game, match. Excellent match from both our players. We're gonna, uh, just wait a second and give you one final update. It looks like Devin has that last match in uh, in Fairhand. So the tune in next week, folks, yep. for the PTL final is going to be our uh, league grand boss, Devin Monkhouse versus Aaron P. Battle what, of the veterans. Battle of the veterans. What a what a that's going to be a high uh, a high stakes high uh, high popularity match. I can't wait to see that yeah, one. Congrats again, Raph, on a great season. We've been your hosts tonight. I'm Timbo Slice. I'm Moss Isley. Signing off, folks.